Filter contacts out of my network helps you understand who accepted your invitation. Let's see how it works on a single action campaign. Let's say I have a list of about 90 people I invited previously. In a CSV file, I have their profile links and names. Let me upload them to the queue. Now I'm going to start this campaign. The action goes to my network page scrolls down and tries to find those invited people among my connections. Voila! As the result of the first run, I have 73 profiles in the successful list. They are now my first connections. Other 11 are in the queue. They aren't my first connections yet. Let's randomly check a few profiles from both lists to make sure it worked properly. This person from the successful list is indeed my first level contact. Let's pick one from the queue. And this person is my third connection. Please pay attention that as the result of the first run, they aren't in the failed sublist. Hence, the campaign isn't over for them. Filtering is not a one-time execution thing, but a recurring one. It means next time in 56 minutes, Linkit Helper will make another try and see if any of those in the queue accepted invites. It does so until there is zero in the queue. This was a rough explanation of how this action works in isolated example. Let's take a deeper look at how it works in conjunction with other actions and study some settings related to this action. In this campaign, for example, I have a sequence of action that stopped at inviting. I've invited about 30 people, some failed and some were excluded. Let's add a filter in action below. The successful sublist is copied to the queue. Let's tweak some settings. You can name this action if you wish. Also, I want a few tags to be added to successfully processed contacts. On the General tab, set your timeout between checks. This means how often this action checks your network page for any newly joined. It mustn't be too short to keep your account activity moderate. By default, it's every 60 minutes. The bigger timeouts are, the more people will be likely found during each run, but they will be moving a bit slower down the funnel. With short timeouts, fewer people are found during each check, but they will be pushed further through the funnel quicker. Advanced settings include one technical setting which we recommend to keep default. It doesn't affect anything and will be mostly needed for the tech support for troubleshooting. Next setting defines how deep the filter action will analyze your network page. The default previously added found mode 
will stop scrolling when it reaches the contact who was found during the previous run. That makes sense because anyone who accepts later is listed higher as the newest connection. First invite date will analyze when the earliest invitation was sent and scroll down to contacts who joined your network around the same time. This usually consumes more time. You need this mode in some rare cases when you manually add people to the queue not in the chronological order, so we recommend to stick to previously added found mode. Filter contacts out of my network is part of a preset template for invite and follow up. It is nested between invite and message in actions. Why is it important to have it? Because filter in action is the gateway that allows to pass through further to the funnel only your first connections. Other contacts remain to sit in the queue. And it tries multiple times to sort out who accepted. Without this action, we would have had all our pending second and third level contacts marked as failed for the message in action. 